Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Rohit. Today we'll talk about a very simple topic called uh, how we can create a dependent field. So let's take example that if you have seen that incident field here, I'll open the incident field from um, this list. So in the incident field, you have been seen that there is a category and subcategory, right? When you create, um, when you select some category, depending on that category, it shows the subcategory, right? So how we can create something like that? So we'll talk this thing uh, today. So if you see here, uh, this is the hardware my uh, uh, category and this is hardware related uh, things are showing. And if I change to thing, uh, like software, it's uh, I mean software related uh, subcategory showing. So this is called the dependent uh, dependency. So we'll understand that how we can do this dependency today okay so without wasting time let's get started so very first thing is that i am going to create two custom field in the right side here one will be the asset and then another will be asset name and the asset i'll create the same type of thing for software and hardware if you select the software, I'll show the software related asset. If you select hardware, I'll show you that hardware related asset. So let's uh, try to do that one by one. So I'll go here, configure, and then configure uh, form layout. And I will uh, create two fields first. So here in the form layout, uh, on the right side after assign to, I want to create uh, two fields. So I'll put that asset type. And this time this will be choice field type will be choice i'll add that and then another i'll create that asset name this also will be a choice field. so these two fields i will be uh, uh, created and then i will add after assign to and these two field will be dependent so let's do that so my form is saved just let's uh, refresh that so this is the very simple steps you will be understand very easily so we have a two field called asset type and then asset name and none of these uh, field are having showing any value. So I will click right click here and then I will click the configure choice and I will do uh, add there. So I will put that uh, software and hardware and click add and save that. So after saving that, you can see uh, in this asset tab, uh, these two uh, fields are visible and uh, these two drop down are visible software and hardware. Okay, we can uh, rearrange their order by uh, configure choice and do that. So we can, if I want to show that hardware in the top, we can definitely do that. Right, simply right click, uh, configure choice, I'll do again, leave. And here, I just can bring up and then save that. So this way you can keep on uh, changing their order keep on adding the uh, fields now the second thing is that these two fields are uh, you know these two uh, uh, choice are visible but based on this selection this field will be visible right so it is dependent on this previous uh, field so for that I'll simply right click configure dictionary and make the dependent field on the asset type. So once I go back to the configure dictionary, uh, there will be one, uh, you know, um, uh, if you see here, we have an option called advanced view. You just have to click the advanced view in case if you are not seeing that uh, tab, dependent tab. Once it will be open to the advanced view, you can see the view name is the advanced view. Once it will be open in advanced view, we'll be able to see that one uh, you know um, sections called dependent field you just need to be click that use dependent field and here we need to select that which field I am going to dependent so our case is the asset uh, you know type based on the asset type asset name will be populated so this is dependent on the asset type and this field name is asset name which will be dependent on the asset type now I'll click the update so that I can go back to the incident form so now this field asset type uh, and asset name, asset name asset name is dependent on the asset type. So let's do one thing. Click here and then hardware. In the hardware, what are the field I am expecting? We'll configure that. For that, you have to first select that um, uh, the previous um, field uh, value hardware and then right click and then 
uh, config at choice and click leave and now if you see in the top it is saying that uh, trailering incident dot asset name and it is depending on the hardware field so I'll put that hardware is equal to mouse and then add the keyboard okay so it will be dependent on that hardware if we select that hardware this mouse and keyboard will be visible I'll save that and then uh, if you see um, if I click here hardware and then this hardware fields are showing mouse and keyboard and if we click software uh, there is no um, drop down value because for the software we don't have configure any choice for that again right click and then configure uh, choice and then for software related we will select that um, uh, value so now we can see asset type dot software let's say um, we can say that cloud and then we can say that uh, Photoshop something like that and then click the save so we have defined for two I mean for each and every value you need to be defined that uh, their drop down value what should be our drop down value now let's go back to that incident form in this case let's see if we select hardware uh, this mouse and keyboard is showing so we can select the mouse now if we change the software and this value will change to the none and then again we can select the cloud or photoshop if we select none uh, uh, this value will be changed i mean these are the right now dependent and it's working as per expectation also i'll show you in advance mode that how it will be looks like that if i right click here and then go back to the configure uh, instead of configure choice click the show choice list it will show me all the choice list for the particular table so if you can see that the table name is the incident and the element is the asset name and we have four fields basically one is the cloud another is the mouse another is the keyboard another is the photoshop total four fields we have and these four fields and definitely it's depending on that uh, hardware and software if we select the hardware the keyboard and photoshop will become and if we uh, select software and cloud and mouse will become right for that uh, if you add one more field called dependent there is a field called dependent if you add the dependent value it will be clear it will be understand clearly so for dependent value you need to configure that backend and then if you see for software these two are dependent I, I mean for software if I group by on the dependent you will be uh, find out that uh, for dependent hardware these two value are there for dependent software these two value are there so that's why we configure that way and it is showing in the back end okay so you don't i mean the basic idea is you just go and then configure choice configure chairs and add those value and keep um keep adding and uh, play around and then did that so that's the additional steps how we can verify that which fields can be which fields is dependent on what okay that's just for you know a reference purpose so if you have any question just let me know it's a very simple process uh, if you have any question till the time uh, let me know in my comment section and please like share and subscribe my channel thank you very much have a great day